Hi, my name is Elizette Pyers. I'm the Senior Special Programs Coordinator for Basic Needs Support here at Bristol Community College. A big part of my role here at Bristol is to oversee our monthly mobile food market. You're probably watching this video today because you've signed up to be a volunteer, so first and foremost, thank you. Uh, but I want to take some time today to go over some important information about the volunteer experience with you. You can volunteer at any one of our four campus locations, so Fall River, New Bedford, Taunton, or Attleboro. The majority of our volunteers will come to Fall River at 8 a.m. We unload the truck that comes from Greater Boston Food Bank. We'll fill up all the grocery bags of food and then we have some trucks that go to our other campuses to deliver those groceries. There are some safety tips that we want volunteers across all of our campus to know, um, but particularly here in Fall River as we are handling the food directly, putting them into grocery bags. We will all be wearing gloves and those will be provided by us so it's not something you need to, to bring. We also have masks and hand sanitizer available. We always recommend before you come washing your hands just to again to be really mindful of food safety. One other piece of advice that I'll give to volunteers is to bring closed toed shoes. We're often handling things like canned items that could be really hard. You might accidentally drop one. We just want to make sure you're avoiding getting hurt. We ask that our volunteers be mindful of um, the weight of our items. So often we're bending down to pick up heavy boxes. So remembering that you always lift with your legs instead of your back, we want to avoid any injuries at all costs. The big thing is making sure that you're being aware of your surroundings, there's nothing obstructing kind of the path that you're going, um, that you're not carrying more than you can carry. If there's something you need to carry and you can't carry it by yourself, just asking the person right next to you, hey, do you mind helping me? Um, that's really important for us is that our volunteers are, are safe. I also want to talk a little bit about other things to keep in mind as a volunteer as it relates to how we interact with one another. We try to provide a really hospitable environment, um, an environment free of judgment, um, where we're not you know, looking at someone or having preconceived notions or um, stereotypes about who we're serving. Come into the space um, with an open heart and being compassionate. Um, and really treating every individual with dignity. Um, it's important for us that those, those very limited interactions that we have with our community members are positive ones. Folks' circumstances can be very different. Someone can be driving a pretty new vehicle, but that might be the only thing that they own. They may have some assets that other folks don't have, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not as deserving of the resources as any other person. Neighbors, family members, or even sometimes staff from community agencies are picking up on behalf of a client or behalf of a family member or a neighbor or um, someone from their community. So there's a wide variety of folks who are coming through for different reasons and we don't necessarily know what that is because um, we're not asking those questions. We're here just to serve them and be able to provide those resources and the food that they need. So coming in again with a welcoming, passionate, compassionate um, heart is really important for the volunteer experience and you certainly will get more out of it. So once again, um, I wanna thank you for taking the time to sign up to volunteer with the mobile food market. We truly appreciate your support. The mobile market could not happen without volunteers. Thank you again, and I look forward to seeing you at our next market.